We just finished the first day of our national business development uh, meeting, or what we call our convention. We're going to interview several franchisees that just came into our organization about their experience uh, becoming a franchisee, words of wisdom, some personal experiences, and uh, allow you to decide whether this is the right organization for you. It's been uh, pretty unbelievable where we've come from. Um, it came from myself, one guy in four bins, and today we're upwards of 40 locations across the country, across North America, with a total of 800 bins out there. I had owned a business before uh, that uh, had a devastating loss due to a fire, and I got to meet Mark Crossett and Lisa through, uh, through dealings with their insurance company, and I used the service. Um, I wasn't sure that our business was going to reopen, and it always stuck in the back of my mind uh, that this was to be something that I would like to get into. I've been a franchisee for two years now, and what kind of led me to it is I, uh, I met John Ferracuti at the Landscape Show, and I recognized the, the, the logo, or branding, or you want to say, and uh, I was looking for something to get away from the excavating and landscape business and get into something else. Uh, the things that make me different are uh, customer service, bar none, without, without question. Um, answering the phone, uh, providing uh, appropriate information, no hidden fees, no hidden costs, taking care of their driveway, sweeping up when we're gone. Um, bar none, blow the competition out of the water. Well, basically, we don't know what the competition is up there exactly, but it is some of the big guys who have some fairly big equipment. They've got the Mack trucks, they've got the big 40-yard bins. We're in an area which is, for most part of the year, or a big part of the year, is, is cottage country. Those trucks cannot get into a lot of places where people are going to do a renovation on a cottage or even tear it down and start to build new. So there's a niche there for somebody who has bins our size, vehicles our size, to go in there and do that work for them. Second week of December, I was given the opportunity to uh, work on the Extreme Makeover Home Edition uh, show. And so uh, that took about a month of planning, and then uh, we were able to uh, complete the house in 104 hours, uh, which uh, took us to about the end of last week. And uh, uh, within that, we were able to market uh, through uh, my fellow franchisee in San Antonio. Uh, she was able to uh, provide the uh, bins. I would say, you know, gather all the information that you can, talk to all the, the people that you can, um, it's ultimately your decision, but you can make the best decision with the most information that you can possibly get. I mean, don't jump into it until they really know, you know kind of what they're doing, but you give them so much help, and that is really good. They got to know that there's a lot, you're behind them, the company is behind them, and all the other owners. So I think I would definitely tell them that, that, that it is a family, I'm finding. I learned a ton today, and more so just talking to the guys away from the meeting and doing the one-on-one, -on -one, just getting to know them and asking them questions about their businesses. The quality of people that are involved in this, this, this franchise business um, sets itself apart. These are genuine, um, sincere people, educated, want to do a good job. Been there, done that actually has a very well-defined method of, and, and I guess mission statement, or method of doing their business. Uh, they're very proactive in terms of the way in which they deal with their clients, callbacks almost immediate. Uh, they keep the clean, their bins and their trucks very clean. Uh, we do have the wood protection system we put down, the sweep up after service. I mean, I've literally had contractors blown away that tell me that they have never heard of a bin provider providing services like that. In conclusion, the most important thing that you can do as you're investigating our franchise is to follow the system. It's very common for people to have fear, and what we found is that knowledge dispels fear. Also, you're going to have assumptions. If you can turn those into questions, you're really going to find the answer. So please be diligent as you go through this quest and decide, can I see myself doing this?
Thank you.